have no But wait, name. don't you guys believe oh, in equality? Oh, I no, I don't believe I in don't. equality. Yes. Wait, do you believe in equality? I don't. No. I you don't believe in equality? Do you believe in equality? It depends on what like the metric is. Do you believe in equality? Believe in equality. I thought we were for equality. I'm so confused. Do you believe? Yeah. But it's why like, would why? you want if equality? If you believe in equality, what? why should a guy open the door for you? How do you reconcile? Right. That? Because so the relationships are supposed to be equal is that men bring certain things to a relationship, women bring certain things to a relationship, and it makes a whole. Like all those things together make come together and make a whole. Everybody provides something different to the relationship and that's like the, the equality. You don't want a partner that's doing everything in the relationship and then another partner that's doing nothing in the relationship. You need two partners that are both doing leave it. Just different leave things. It. Okay, question with the equality thing because I don't understand it to be honest, which is why I can't say I want equality. But I always feel like when I hear like the equal thing, I feel like it's more about like you guys having like equal like jobs and like equal pay and being treated equally. I didn't know that it was more about equal in a relationship. Because a lot of women, uh, mm. there's also women that are gay that want e well, okay, equality that's, from men. That's men and women can like, never be that, equal. Like, what is the equal thing? Yeah. Like, is it well, just okay. relationships but, but or is it? Let me ask you a question. Let me like, ask you a question. Life. Will you follow a man's lead? <laughs> Can I say something? Hold on. Yeah, so will you, like, if a man tells you to do something, will you do it? Yeah. Like, will you be submissive? If I trust him and, like, we're in a relationship, yes. In the past, like, I feel like I've had troubles with that, like, kind of letting a man, oh, letting a man assert himself. Mm -hmm. If a man is leading and we're in a relationship that's equal and we trust each other, Wait, then equal? yeah. If we're in a relationship where I'm with him he's with me we're with nobody else we live together we're like building a relationship and we're meeting each other halfway it doesn't have to just be finances like we meet each other halfway with like our like i listen to you wait you, you meet to guys me. halfway for finances no i don't no i don't think i've ever been with a man that hasn't paid all my bills but that's another thing well that's not equal no 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 that's not equal but i'm saying like emotionally equal like we meet each other like if i'm with a man and he meets my intellect at the same level. And sure. he, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if we share the same, if we're compatible and we love each other, F, yeah, like he's going to, I'm submissive anyway in relationships. Okay. So for me, it's like, yeah, definitely. All right. Can I say something to that? Quick, if you can. Okay. First of all, there's no such a thing as equality between men and women. Men cannot have children. Men cannot get pregnant and have children. Men can have children until they're 60 or 70 and get a younger woman. So women have 40 years to utilize their youth and beauty and brain in order to build something for the future that br bring them a completely different value. The problem today in the world, that women try to compete men, be like a man, be equal to a man, and they forget about it and don't realize it. And the problem when they wake up, it's way too late. They passed their prime, they lost all their value, and then they got miserable and go take a, a Xanax and come here and talking shit. Okay, <laughs> back to I get, no, I get what you're saying, because no, it's, I don't believe in the equal thing. Like I said, I let men take care of me but what I do agree with I feel like sometimes the whole like the masculine feminine thing in relationships is like the back and forth I feel like sometimes it's okay for the woman to lead and I feel like sometimes it's okay for the man to lead like it just depends on the relationship like if you guys are really meeting each other halfway in a relationship and you trust each other my ex like sometimes like we'd be at a restaurant and he like they'd mess up our order and he wouldn't talk he'd be like babe like you tell him off like you know what I mean like little stuff like that like just meeting each other halfway wait your boyfriend My asked ex. he would ask you <laughs> if they got the order wrong that you He'd should be say like, something tell him you tell like because i would always talk to them and what? we'd always they'd fix it like my ex wasn't really good with like you had better negotiations yeah together. like he wasn't good at the negotiations what is like, there, you what is there to negotiate it's just like oh hey excuse me i yeah, think but there's that's just because a, it comes from yo natural. desiree it could be a better shot negotiator. desiree you got to stop fucking interrupting. Are you, you okay? Well, I am psycho. No. <laughs> Bro, Ooh. you got to learn Wait to like, finish. holy shit. I <laughs> said I three lost. words. I said three words and she can't fucking help herself. 
Holy shit, bro. No, How good. did you make it to 38? <laughs> How, dude? White privilege, to be honest. White privilege. Oh, <laughs> jumped right. or beaten up for saying stuff like oh, that? Damn. No, I don't because I have hot you know, white privilege. So what people are actually know? very nice to me oh, usually. So I mean, it's just so the facts of the matter. How do you come back on this fucking crazy? That's what she talked about. I didn't have to play by the okay, normal rules of society. I well, got to Ryan, be a psycho. Okay, let him talk. I'm trying to listen. I'm honestly trying to... I'm just going to move it on, but... I think I was just going <laughs> to say... That was a good point. No, it's like, I think I was just going to say, it's if there's something wrong with the order, you can just be like, oh, hey, excuse me, I think mm. there's something wrong. And Maybe. that's no, the No, it. it doesn't always go like that. Sometimes we get some pushback. From the waiter? Oh. Yes! No, you just say, oh, I didn't want ketchup on my burger, can... You no, sometimes they're like, no, you didn't say, say no, you didn't say no ketchup. Or, okay. It's always well, like a thing. Sometimes. I would never ask my girlfriend to like, can you please talk to the waitress no, for me? Like that. Oh, I can't have She's social interaction. So <laughs> like, I don't think it was in that manner. I think yeah, I like it was like oh, you got this, babe. Like Riley, yeah, can, like, can, can you? Yeah, yeah. like oh, it was Riley. Like a, can you please talk to the waitress oh, for me? The this is the problem with men right here. This is the no, problem with I men right say, here. You I would guys say can't something. take a back seat uh-huh. if a woman a is back in seat, control. Why, like, no, even if I was with a male friend, I wouldn't be like, oh, Connor, can you please, <laughs> can you please oh talk to the waiter God. for me? Yeah, yeah, like, you you talk some people are the... afraid of confrontation. Yes, so. It's like, not a confrontation. It's, it's just like, like conflict. It's, just oh, it's not a conflict. It's just like, oh hey, I think there's a mix up. Can <laughs> if it's that big of a deal, honestly, if it's a minor thing, I'm just gonna be like, fuck it, whatever. If it's a big deal, they fucked up the thing. I'll That's just be like, up, hey, can you? They got feelings too. What? Like, they okay, wait. Let me ask you a question. Like, Hold, you think That's it's like, yeah. That's what you did. Hold on. Wait. Okay. So you're saying, let's say you go to a like a restaurant where you have to go to the counter to order. And yeah. if your boyfriend was like, babe, can you order for me? I'm scared to order. <laughs> that is not how he does That is exactly what you're talking about. No, that's not it. Like, it's just, he's like, did they mess? They didn't bring us the thing or they didn't put this here. It's they like, forgot the wing? If the mill is trash, like, because we were like foodies. So we spend a lot of oh, money on restaurants. Right. So when you go and you get bad service, it's like, he so doesn't want to be the angry black man what? going off on like the waiters. So then I have a softer so voice. Black woman. <laughs> like, so but woman. to them, they don't see it as angry black woman. They just see somebody speaking yeah, to them. Cl- okay. Yeah. So he I don't, doesn't matter what. But I don't you think that, got, that doesn't make him you angry. Stand for yourself. No, but but you me. gotta understand. That's what I'm saying. The black experience is so <clears throat> intricate because, like, to yeah, black men, they don't want to come off a certain way. Yeah. Because it's like it's a thing within the black community. You don't want to over talk or you don't want to sound assertive because people might think you're the angry black person. I've never been in your is. place, so I cannot really? judge you. It Maybe is you're a right. thing. If they fuck up your wing order, you're going to be like, oh, babe. Uh, yeah, babe, can you talk it to is. them for me? Yeah. No, not like yeah. that. Yeah. It's just Ooh, like, I don't know. You just don't want to come off like that oh angry God, black man. Like that is really terrible. Shit. Yeah, wow. You it know is. what? This is why, actually, when I go to restaurants and I'm, you know, if like I'm out of the restaurant with a girl, <laughs> I don't want to come off as an angry white man because of all my <laughs> male, white male privilege. <laughs> so, any, I actually instruct. Why are you doing I that? tell my girlfriend, like my girlfriend, if I'm, you know, whatever, I'll be like, hey, can you just, can you just order for me? Oh. Can you just order for me? Do you have a girlfriend? I cannot. Ooh. Confirm Desiree. or deny. Desiree, why girlfriend. can't you confirm or deny? Look, I am bossy. Right? Do you guys know if he has a girlfriend? Shh. That's a five-year-old virgin. I I'm a virgin. Will you be my first? Just kidding. Fight the power. No. He's in love with Desiree secretly, but he just doesn't want to say the part. So anyways... Anyways, I never kiss and tell. <laughs> Des- well, I kiss and tell. Yeah, tell us what happened with him. <laughs> nothing, bro. Nothing. I want to know what happened with him. I'm curious. <laughs> nothing, bro. Is that a confirmation? It's literally nothing. I don't know why, bro. Hmm. People, even Andrew was like, "Oh, so Brian, you gonna hit it?" I'm like, "Fuck no, I'm not." Okay. Anyways. Damn. So. Well, yeah, yeah. I have a okay. question for the girls Wait. too. Though. I do gotta move it on. So she has a question. I gotta move it on. I'm sorry. No, well, we can get to it, but I do want to ask the girls that question about if you like start liking a guy, but he flirts heavy with every single girl. Yeah. Like, does it not make That's you not right. interested? And no, if, no, you, no, I'm if you're watching this, it's a bad guy. You don't want yeah. to be with a guy like that. No. Uh-uh. No. Like, you really, really like someone? I hate the guys that hit on you, yeah, and when you deny them, they try to go talk to your friends after. Like, do you think we're still like? Like, they're gonna tell us about like, that. Like, are you also. insane like, yeah. to yeah, go no. hit on? Like, that's insane. Sometimes to me. I hate okay. that. Okay. So, let's do here. Hold on. 
Okay, we will do, would you rather be stuck in the woods with a random man or a random bear? In the scenario... <gasps> random what? What? Random man or a random bear. Now, the scenario here mm. is... There's no motivations as to why the man's in the forest. So you can't be like, well, why is he there? It's just you get randomly dropped. He gets randomly dropped. You get randomly dropped. Random man, random bear. Starting with Shirley. Uh, man. Okay. Desiree? Man. I have a question about, is it a, like a forest as in it can't be a polar bear? Or is it, could it sure, just be it like can, it can be a polar It can be. <laughs> so right. it's random then, bear. Then, then man. Okay. Man. Bear. Okay. Of course, men. They are protectors. I love men. Men? Man? Man. Why did you say bear? (laughs) Because you want to die. I want to try something new. I would love to hear this. She wants to try something new. Go ahead. Maybe, but honestly, I think it's just because, like, what if, what if I can, like, Tame the bear. Like, what if I can like actually teach it to do like what I needed to do? Get the Russian. 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 Get with t- with a mama and a papa bear and cubs, then go to a frat house and ask for directions. Okay, She's that, the issue. That's, 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 that's crazy. It was like a 30 minute Wait, conversation. Wait, but so why bear? Yeah, why because bear? Because so why what, bear? Like, I can tame it. Like, I can tell it what. Bro, like, you cannot tame a bear. You, it's a wild bear. bear. Yeah. What, what if I have skills you? that you don't you, know? I, <laughs> Do you have skills? Yeah, tell me, about your bear, <laughs> tell me about your bear taming skills. Go ahead. Let's just not discuss that. <laughs> what if I do have skills and you don't even know about them? What if I do like know how to do that? Do you? Maybe. Do you? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Damn, the bear. She really Maybe. took the bear. She's standing on business. I swear. What if it can like find me? Food? I mean, you can learn anything on YouTube these days, so it's not <laughs> it's not impossible. I mean, I wouldn't YouTube it for <laughs> but sure. But there's those like, survival shows. I mean. Remember, if like, you ask any survivalist, I think they would rather pick a man than a bear. I mean, right. why are they on there? I'm sorry. Like, how, America, how has anybody in this bears? room like actually come face to face with a bear before? No. No. I have like several times in my would, life, and I and I chose a man rele- reluctantly, but like bears aren't really like that aggressive. Like genuinely, they're really not like inherently aggressive. They only become aggressive when you're like do they eat honey? threatening them or in their territory or whatever. Okay. Um, <laughs> But I do think it's, like, more likely that the man's n- probably not going to harm you than the bear would harm you. But, like, I don't think it's, like, that crazy of a leap for people to say bear over man because bears really aren't that scary. <laughs> and all of you guys can, like, say, oh, my God, bears are so scary. But, like, have you, none of you guys have come across a bear in the woods. Okay. I've come across a bear in the woods. Like, but but bears are more unpredictable. Right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, I feel like you would have, no. like, like, if the, I had to defend myself. I would want to defend yeah. myself it's against a man. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like The odds of you being dropped in the woods with a bear and it eating you is like this, you know, much higher than being with a man who ends up being Ed Gein, who's going to eat you. Right. He's not going to. Yeah, I don't disagree with that either. Riley chewed out. What were you guys talking about? I don't know. Being the bear and the man. man. The bear. That she's come across a bear oh, five times. Like, I go camping a lot. I'm going camping tomorrow, actually. Oh, what's this? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what's this spider? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 The spider's just like, eh. Oh, wow, that was That was tiny bitey senses. Okay. So why the bear? Like, the actual real reason? I gave you it. Because well, you could tame the bear, you can't tame. No, the bear. but like, the why bear. not the man? Like, what uh, f- like scares oh, you from Honestly, being in the woods with the man? It's not that I'm like oh, scared of being like not being with a man it's just more of like why not like in my head it was honestly like the question like was just like you know seeker. what like why not like why not be with I mean, a bear you've like seen many is, men it natural selection it was just like many bears. <laughs> it's not that freaking <laughs> serious <laughs> i was like who cares I mean, like give it a sense. freaking try like why not why not be with the freaking bear everybody was picking the man why yes um, right. let's be up live a little people live a little all right then why don't you oh i'm not gonna i'm going in the woods it's boring so you think that there's a greater risk of being attacked by the man as compared to the bear. There is a greater risk being with the bear. You're just an adrenaline junkie. It's fine. (laughs) 
what? Ooh. You're just you don't an adrenaline have to, junkie. You don't like, have you to like label thrill, everything. Right? I don't like think that's that. 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 That's something you do. You label everything. Well, because exactly. I find yes. that it helps people. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't. doesn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Same, I don't bro. think. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't think labeling it was like it right. Like okay. Like if I did want to pick the bear, like okay, whatever. Who cares? We'll take the point I was trying to make is you don't have to justify it. We just like what we like. We want to try what we want to try. Who cares? You want to try with the bear? Okay. She, she I'm would. not speaking for me. She I'm would. Just giving her permission because everybody was attacking her. <laughs> Did you feel attacked? I don't think so. Everybody yeah. didn't attack okay. you. We're I was just, I just no, we're joking with her. Yeah, it was funny. You don't have it to was like, yeah. like, no, I mean, This is what a conversation I, is. It's not. It's not attacking but other she people. She doesn't know how to have a normal conversation. Oh, I know. Well, yeah. Period. All right. Next. Next question. Next question. Somebody sent me a DM. They want me to ask this: Are men or women physically stronger? Men, men, man. Men physically. Physically, yes. Yeah, yeah. Most of them. Most men. Men are stronger. Men are stronger. Okay. Fact. Who is the primary victim of war, men or women? Oh. I Starting don't know. with. I'm sorry. Shirley. Yeah, yeah, we never yeah. had war. Go ahead, Shirley. <laughs> you did have. Go ahead, Shirley. Wait, you, what was the question? Who is the primary victim of war, men or women? Is that easy? Civil war, second world war, first world war. Victim meaning what? Uh, yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. okay. Let aren't, her answer. Aren't there more men in, than women in the military? Yes. Yeah. So, so men? men yeah. Okay. Desiree? Men. Vic? Men. I won't be controversial right now. Do you... <laughs> Well, I, I would say in, like, civilian victims, probably women, but in, like, total victims, men. Oh, okay. Cause, like, okay. Cause. Men. 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 All right. Can you be sexist towards men? Yes. Yes. Starting with Shirley. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 What does that mean to be sexist towards men? Having... Be like, negative oh, you can't thoughts do this towards know. men, having bias against yeah. men. A lot of most yeah. women today are like yeah. that. Okay. No. Can't no? You can't be sexist. Okay. No, okay. So can you be can people, can men or women be sexist towards women? Uh, no? Do you understand the question? Uh, let me see. Well, can you ask again the question? Okay. Can sure. Can women be sexist towards men? No. No? No. Can men be sexist towards women? No. Wait. What? I don't think she understands. Does she know what? Do you know what sexist means? Anybody speak Spanish? It's like a bias. Any Spanish speakers here? Fucking help her. Can you speak Spanish? Speak Spanish. Go ahead. Wait. Go ahead. Translate. Into the mic. Hold on. Hello? Hold on. Give me some time to think because, damn, hold on. Damn, revoke your Latina card. What the fuck up? Don't fucking start with that fucking shit, please. No, what's it called? Basically, it's like, for example, that if a guy tells you that you are like, oh, it is, like, if he told you, the answer is yes. <laughs> Next person, yes. yes. <laughs> Be like, you can't do that because you're a man. Is uh, that okay. a good way of saying it? I think, I think so. It's uh, something. It's something. What, like, I mean, it's yeah. It's just, I do with it. What do you What do you think about oh, when, no, you're no, like, yes, when you're like when you're like okay. when you're like oh that like okay. a man's being like that to a woman to a woman okay. yeah yes but then like Definitely. a woman to a man thank you yeah yes 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 yes, right? yes. Like, yes. men can't polish their nails yeah. they can, uh, because because like, they're well, that's, that's, yeah like, like doing like feminine stuff because I don't think that's sexist yeah no I don't know I don't think that's sexist sexist. I, I mean, thought that's what it was. Yeah, that's a, like the guys are start, it's a trend. Like uh, even heterosexual men are well, starting to hear women nails. saying that's a man. Like, they're oh, putting you can on makeup this. even, and they're not gay or anything. They just yeah, are into no, yeah, exactly. Like, they like, you can have that women. Is that gender identity? That's like a gender. Y'all already know where I stand. Male that wear makeup. Oh my god, it's totally gay. <laughs> what about the actors? Act, I mean, an actor. That, I feel like that's the majority of men in the so country. Well, that's not the men that you're gonna date well, on every day. Well, there's a lot life. of influencers now, though. So I you mean, wanna, you want to follow the Just cattle, trendy, or you want to be individual? Right, yeah. I'm sure, like Trump so, and all these no political figures are getting a little bit of makeup put on on TV. On but on everyday life, you want to date a man that before he goes out, he wears so makeup. So all we're saying is that there are the outliers who have reasons. Not just that it's not attractive. It's a turn off. But what men? Listen, men that would take care of you and treat you like a queen and and do everything for you and be like a real real man caveman it's not a man that would dare to wear makeup so so yeah. i have i had no 
our friends with benefits mm. in the past. You mean a when he has benefits? You don't well, have benefits if he's. It was benefits because he would yeah, pay for everything for me. <laughs> he would give me money for things that I wanted. So would, it's not benefits. You are just his side ho for him. Listen, yeah, when a guy has when a guy have four million dollars for hold example. On, listen, 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 listen. He was he's. Bisexual man wears makeup sometimes. By he, he was what? a provider. And you're you saying, took the risk to have sex with him. And, and you're saying that these types of men aren't providers, but the, the, but I literally I have a real life example of a man being a provider. Honey, listen, let me educate you. That's what this man really thinks is a provider. Let me educate uh, you. This example. man, not just that he's minutes. not provider, minutes, right? This man, okay, mm -hmm. is a man that literally uses you as a sexual tool. He's pervert. He's a twisted. No, he's a twisted and he's a pervert. If he wears makeup, he's bisexual and he gives you money for having sex with him you're just a little hoe that he keep on the side to satisfy these sexual needs who do you think I, is, he's not a provider he's not paying your, he's not on. living with you I he doesn't think, marry you, you it's true, but it's, it's okay. just not it's a who do you think is getting mentality. more out of this relationship like guys it's used a to wear soft mentality like, you don't want to be you don't want to be with a man that is feminine mentality control one at a time you don't want to be with a man that is feminine mentality control more than his masculine mentality because if you want to be with a man that have feminine mentality, you might as well date a woman. You don't need a man for that. It's just a very cultural um, thing. Right? Makeup cultural. with men has gone back historically. They used to wear the white powder on their face and the wigs because Only it was just a cultural places. trend. It's men not true. care about cultural appearances it's not too. True. Whether no. it's makeup or it's a certain style of dress, a certain haircut, a certain beard or no beard, men keep up with a or style long hair. too. Right, and there's now we live in a very diverse Culture. It's There's not diversity. Just styles. in America, so, most people are. I have are, a, I have a question going back to the original point. Who do you think is getting more out of a, a purely sexual relationship where the man is providing financially for the woman? Do you think the man is getting more out of the relationship or the woman is getting more out of the relationship? The man. Why? Of course, I'll explain. Why? Because Why? a man. Listen. Let's say a guy have ten million dollars, right? Mm -hmm. For him to spend on a girl ten thousand dollar or five thousand dollar and keep her as a side hoe, mm -hmm. it's no problem. The girl, the desperate that for her ten thousand dollars it's a lot of money mm -hmm. she think she put her value like oh my god he spent ten thousand dollars on me oh my god i must have been something special but when a guy have so much money for him it's nothing it's penis and he can he, he can take you he can take her he can take another guy you just a tool do you think the girl isn't like benefiting at all from that no, financial not aspect? at all and i'll tell you that, why. why because yeah. when a girl i'll explain because let's say you got used to have a guy that spend a lot of money on you for sex right when you get a little bit older, you're not going to have this market of men anymore that want to spend money on you because you lost your youth. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to stand there and you have no other qualification and you're going to feel so depressed and so bad because the only trade you had, it's your youth to sell your youth and your body. And then you're going to wake up when you used to the good life. You used to buy the Chanel bags and, the, and to go to vacation and to take pictures on private jets or whatever. They're going to replace you for a younger model, and why are you going to have nothing? Right. So do you think men and women have sexual inequality? Of course. And why? But we have to accept it as women. No, but, but why? The majority of problem of women, you want to know what it is? Women are so stubborn, they don't want to accept reality. Women is the liar species on the planet. What's the reality? And I'll explain. Okay. Not in a bad way. Listen to me. Women cheat with their makeup, with their nails, with their plastic surgery. I'm one of them, so I know that. Mm. I'm not going to be a hypocrite, right? I make myself look more beautiful. I enhance my beauty. It's not necessarily really bad because it's happened since the Bible time. But with that being said, because women have that ability to lie and manipulate more to attract certain men into their life, they're more in a problem when they get older. Men, give it to you as it is. Either I'm successful, having money, I can, you know, change multiple uh, women or whatever it is he's giving you, he's giving it to you straight, right? You know if you are just a booty call, you're not stupid, or you know if he wants you for a, for a serious relationship. Women, the opposite of, of thinking, women say, oh my God, I got a sugar daddy. He spent so much money on me. He bought me a Chanel bag. He took me on his plane. Da, 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 da. But they don't understand that just, just one of a whole trail of women that they can buy with money. But your boobs are fake, right? Yes. So do you feel like you're attracting a certain type of man with that? Yes, but I'll explain. My boobs were not always fake. I had bigger boobs like this naturally. My boobs were like that. When I had my son, my boob fell to my knees, so I had to cut them and lift them. So I have no choice. My whole life, my boobs were like this, if you want to know. And I don't care. It doesn't contradict. I can look sexy. I could have big boobs. I could be sexual. 
right? But it's how I value myself. It doesn't mean if I'm sexy and I like sex and I like to dress a little bit sexy, not over the top. So I have to be, I have to have a sugar daddy. I have to sell myself short. You could be sexy. You could be intelligent. You can be a businesswoman. But the most important thing to understand what is the woman before you bring in all this to the table. So you didn't answer the original question. question. So you said that men and women aren't sexually equal. They're Why not. do you think that? Because, I told you this before, you didn't understand. Okay. Because the woman value, it's in the first 40 years of her life, right? So, see, well, you have... Let's not you have, ahead no, of ourselves. No, here. wait, let me explain. From age, from age zero that until you... Like what? Say, say, I want to hear what you have to say. 40? Yes. Yes, and I'll explain why. 40? Yes. I'm not talking about 20 years ago, 40, 40? years ago. Now, in nowadays... The prime of a woman, it's her 40s, right? Whoa. Yes. I see it in 40? a lot of podcasts that you guys are very extreme. They said, no, a prime of a woman is 24. I'm not talking about a woman that needs to get married when she's 24 and have kids. I understand what you're saying. That's not what I'm talking about. A woman that had kids and become to her 40 and got divorced and want to date men, she still have a little bit of time when she's in her 40s. If she is a young woman like her and she needs to get married and have kids, she, until 24, 25, 26 the most. But what I'm trying to say in general, that the woman, her trade, it's her youth. And when you pass the prime of the youth, it's affect how you bring kids, it's affect how society sees you, it affects how many wants wants to date you and be with you. And if you don't have an extra value like your brain, who you are as a person, if you're a nurturing woman, if you have patience, if you know how to treat a man, you lose your value completely. I'm not saying that women in our 50 and our 40 and our 60 don't have value. They have a different value. They trade their value with different things. Obviously, they're not gonna look for a young man. Young guys love me, they're amazing. I'm like, are you stupid? What do they want to do with you? They only want to put you in bed and use you and have the experience by having sex with all the women. And they're gonna tell their friends, oh look, I'm banging this 50 year old or I'm banging this 40 year old, right? Because women are oblivious to the truth. They want to tell themselves because you look good. It's like I would go out and I would say, oh, I'm sexy, I'm looking good, I'm going to date young guys. I'm not going to do it, first of all, because I have a man in the house. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, I would you wouldn't not do it like that. What? You wouldn't date me? <laughs> no, because you're young. I think you're attractive, Age but I think you're young. But you're attractive. But I think hey. your producer way more attractive. Sorry. Oh. Jacob Elordi, oh. I agree. But, but he could be my son. Jacob Elordi. He could be my son, <laughs> yeah. so I don't even look at that. He's young. 